Hey guys, so we finally have the info for this, what seems to be UST uh, banner. I think this is 21, UST 21. Um, the cell and trunks that were teased in V-Jump um, a little less than a month ago at this point. So we had some uh, advanced knowledge that they were coming soon. So here, we, here they are. Uh, we can go through the videos real fast and then we'll talk a little bit about what I'd like to see out of these two. Uh, we'll go ahead and play the video. I am your brother. <laughs> what a shocker. All right, so that was first form of cell. Personally, I am not super hyped for this guy. Um, obviously, regen is... Uh, everyone's favorite team right now, so we'll see. Um, first form cell incoming, his sinister special skill, life force absorption, reduces key recovery and key on hit, and restores his health and key. So that's doing a lot. Um, add a unique that buffs him whenever the enemy switches, and the looming menace is ready to terrorize the battlefield. Um, so he wants to make the enemy switch out, and he gets buffed for, from that. That's fine. Um, that green card, though, seems like it's going to be super annoying to deal with because <laughs> getting key back, everyone knows. I mean, key and HP. So um, synergy with baby, super baby two right there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's probably the biggest issue in the game right now, but there we go. That was Cell. Next, we have Trunks up here. This one, this Trunks looks like to, looks to be, in my opinion, the much more interesting unit, but let's go ahead and take a look at what he does. Best. Get off! All right, well, looks pretty cool. Uh, Super Saiyan Trunks, Teen incoming, boosted strike damage against Tag, Regen. That's what we like to see. Finally, we get some uh, some boosts against Regen. His ultimate Heat Dome attack deals massive impact damage and nullifies unfavorable element factor upon activation, so that's good. Makes him type neutral. Uh, he also reduces all enemies' health restoration when hitting the field. That's good. This guy is clearly built to be super anti-regen. So especially going up against someone like Super Baby 2, you know, Zenkai Boo, even the cell that's coming out who regens health, all that regen is going to go away. Well, not go away, but reduce, right? So we don't know how much it's actually going to reduce it, but hopefully it's a lot. Uh, and then he gets like, extra damage against uh, regen. So, I mean, this guy's looking pretty good. We also saw that his green card was like the, uh, uh, let's think it was a little bit further back. Yeah, this pushback thing. So this is similar to uh, Super Baby 2's green card, similar to uh, the new Transforming Super Vegito's uh, green card. So that looks, looks like what that's going to be, probably comboable as well. But these are the two new units that are coming out. Now let's take a little bit to, of time to just look at some of the teams they're going to be good on. Before we do that, let's go ahead and actually look at the news because the... <laughs> <laughs> the preview is up here. Um, I just recorded myself doing a whole section talking about how I wanted trunks to be blue and cell to be per, uh, cell to be red. Um, that looks like that's not the case because trunks is red and cell is green. We also do have an ex perfect form cell coming. He is purple. Um, this is unexpected um, because well, now that we've seen this, we can just go back over to the uh, other screen here. Um, let me actually disconnect my phone just so it doesn't go out of whack here. Um, so I have the teams pulled up here that I think uh, both of these new units could end up being a major uh, impact, having a major impact on. The first one is Regen, obviously everyone's favorite team. Um, this team doesn't need help at all. I really hope Cell is not designed to work well with this team. Uh, judging by his, what, how his green card is, it looks like he is, unfortunately. But him being green is really bad um, for him because. You're not replacing Ma you're not replacing Zenkai Boot. You're just not. There's just no universe where Cell first form replaces Zenkai Boot. There's, there's zero chance. So, I think they did that on purpose to make him less viable in region. That's just what I'm thinking. So that's good. That's that's. I'm glad they did that. So, 
Um, we can get rid of this. I don't think he's going to be uh, too viable here. Now we have androids. Um, I actually think that Cell being green is pretty good for the android team. Because I, I, I originally said I wanted Cell to be based around being good on the android team, more so than even the future tag. And Cell being green, like it works pretty well with this team. Um, red, we already have a very solid unit in uh, 13 and 18, but we also do have pretty solid units in green units for um, Super 17, and then 14 still hits a, like a truck. Uh, and then we do have this EX, but he's, again, he's not really hard to get because he's an EX. Um, and this guy's not bad either. Um, blue, he could have been blue as well for this team. Um, I, I said I'd want him to be either blue or red, but green works, kind of. Uh, yellow, we have this cell who's still insane, so I don't know. Um, green does work pretty decently well here. Um, I'm not too upset about it. And then on the future team, um, this guy is really good. Mai is still very good, so... <laughs> and then they added, uh, yeah, they added LF Vegeta here. So I, I don't really see this cell seeing too much play on the future tag unless he is like super good uh, to the point that he's like rivaling this Vegeta on here, which is just not going to happen. So it looks like he's going to be relegated to the Android team just based off of colors. Um, I don't know how much I like that. Uh, it looks like the cell is going to be synergizing a lot with green cards, so you can run him alongside the Super 17 and then maybe do some kind of like green, green, yellow makeup where you have cell, the uh, Super 17, and then this this perfect cell. I don't know, maybe that would work. Uh, we also do have the EX cell, uh, who could, uh, you know, I don't think he's going to be replacing <laughs> the Android 21 on this team, but... Um, you know, this team is, doesn't have the best purple units ever. I mean, this, this Goku Black's not bad, but he's not, like, he's not good. Um, I'm not going to put too much stock in the EX units, but we'll see how he turns out. Uh, and then we have the Trunks, who I think is the much more interesting unit here. Um, Trunks could end up buffing Hybrid Saiyans or Future. I think Future is the much better option. Uh, but it's very strange, because this team continues to lack a blue unit. This guy, he just doesn't cut it. This guy doesn't cut it now, but we know now that he this guy is eventually going to be getting his Zenkai Awakening. Uh, and once this guy gets his Zenkai Awakening, I mean, we will revisit this and we'll talk about that at, the t at that point in time. But right now, this guy is not viable. So this team legitimately has zero usable blue units on it. So it's very weird that this guy ended up being red because Goku Black or Rosé is already in. He's a very good red unit for the future tag. Um, and then you go over here, like, we already have LF Gohan, who is still good. He has fallen off a little bit. Well, maybe more than a little bit, but... Um, it, is the new Trunks going to be better than LF Gohan? I think he might end up being better. I mean, this guy's not insanely good anymore like he used to be. So we could see that happening. So maybe he becomes, like, a main red uh, unit if for a pure hybrid team. But pure hybrids has never really been super viable anyway. So we'll see what happens with that. I would want him to be better for this team, but it's like, I don't... I just, I just don't know because, you know what's interesting actually, now that I think about it, you could run a red, red, green makeup <laughs> and it could end up being the Trunks, the Rosé, the Vegeta, which would be a pretty good team just based off of colors, or you could do Trunks, Rosé, and the new Cell, <laughs> run both the two new units on here, and then Rosé is the color bridge for the red, red, green makeup, that could be interesting. I don't think Cell is um, is going to have a future on this team. Get a future? No, no, stupid joke. But I don't think Cell's really going to be fitting too much on this team because this guy exists. And then this guy is pretty solid as well. And then Mai, obviously, is the best support unit on this team. One of the better support units in the whole game, to be honest. Um, so I don't really see him fitting on here. And then Trunks... I, uh, do you want to run two reds together? Maybe. We'll see what he, his kit is like tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be doing a full breakdown video tomorrow when the download hits, so be sure to keep an eye out for that tomorrow. Let me know down below what you guys think of um, these new units. I am, again, much more hyped for this Trunks because I feel like he's going to be a lot more usable than the Cell is. Um, and I'm just tired of all these regen units that rec recover key, health, reduce your enemy's key. It's just like, I don't know, it's just so annoying. Um, so I'm glad to see this guy's anti-regen. Um, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you all tomorrow.
Before I forget as well, I just wanted to point this out fast. Uh, they did release news talking about how to get the Zenkai Kid Goku uh, Z uh, Awakening Power. And it looks like it is going to be completely free to play because it's through co-op. So, Demon King Piccolo is going to be the new co-op boss. And then you get these tickets through either beating him or missions. It's not really clear right now. Um, it says, the event exclusive summon can only be used with summon tickets acquired from this event. So, it looks like it's going to be completely free to play, but who knows how long and tedious this grind is going to be. Uh, it, the good news is it is in co-op, so there's not going to be any like spamming skip tickets, like using all your energy tickets for it. So, if you're free to play, I would say definitely try and get Kid Goku up to Red 7 via his event that's up right now, because now that we know... Uh, you don't need those materials to uh, get his Zenkai power. It's probably better just to do that, because this guy is going to be one of the better free-to-play units in the game. Probably just easily the best free-to-play unit, honestly. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much all I wanted to just slip, uh, sneak in here at the end. Um, we already know what he does, so... Yeah, um, we'll see if they gate this at all, at all either. Like, maybe it's like, you can only get three tickets a day or something. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see tomorrow. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and then see you all in the next one.